Hello there, everyone. My name is Crazy Caleb, and today we are taking a look at a relatively interesting module called Matchem. So this is what the module looks like, and it's important to note how this looks like because in a future tutorial, I will be making a uh, tutorial on the Cruel variant of it. And the Cruel variant will be a black background, but we'll get to that later. So the concept of this module is pretty simple. Um, you have 25 cards on a um, playing field, and they're in five rows, and what we must do is we must match the pairs, essentially. Um, so each card can be in one of four suits, clubs, diamonds, hearts, or spades, and one of ten colors, red, orange, yellow, lime, forest, blue, cyan, violet, pink, and white. Amongst the cards are 12 pairs and one, remained, uh, one remaining unpaired joker card. So now what you must do is memorize the location of the matching pairs and press the start button, and it will flip all of the cards over. And with that, the cards flipped, there will be a series of shuffles that will go around the board, and there will always be eight of them. So what's important to note is we must figure out what our pairs are, we must find our joker, and we must also keep track of the shuffles, and then once all those eight shuffles are done, then we can start flipping them over to solve the module. We have to flip over all um, 12 pairs in order to solve the module. So let's start actually um, figuring out how to put this stuff into place. So let's put a whole bunch of question marks here so that I can number the pairs. Let's copy this row five times. And now let's start figuring out which pairs go which. And I'm going to number them as uh, 0, 1, 0, 1. So for example, let's take this first um, cyan spade. This will go with another cyan spade right here. So, so uh, the first pair will be an alpha 1 and echo 1. And we'll just go through this in reading order until we find one that doesn't apply. And then at that point, which we found our joker card. So a violet diamond, uh, that is at... Uh, Bravo 1 and Charlie 5, so that'll be our second pair. Now, you can, of course, do the way that it wants, like, do the way of uh, giving the suit and putting the color. But the reason why I'm doing this right now is, um, the reason why I'm doing it like this is just to make it a little bit easier to work with, um, because sometimes some of the columns can shift with each other, and it's just easier to do numbers instead of having to memorize uh, the, force, the the suits and the colors. It's just a lot easier, personally. It'll also be a little bit more relevant later in the Cruel Matching tutorial I make. So next up, uh, a Lime Spade. Um, we'll go Bravo 3 and Charlie 1. So that's our third pair. Uh, next up, we have a uh, Forest Spade. Um, Delta 1 and... Uh, uh, Echo 2, that'll be our fourth pair. Um, a Violet Spade, that is an Alpha 2 and uh, Bravo 5. That's our fifth pair. Uh, a Pink Heart, um, Bravo 2 and Charlie uh, Echo 3. Sixth pair, halfway there. Uh, next up, we have a White Diamond, that's at Charlie 2 and Delta 3. Seventh pair. Uh, next up, we have the Violet Club. That's at Alpha 5 and um, uh, Delta 2, 8th pair. Uh, next undetermined one will be the uh, Pink Diamond. The Pink Diamond is um, in Alpha 3 and Echo 4, so ninth pair. Uh, next up, we have the uh, Lime Club. That's in uh, Charlie 3 and Echo 5, so that's our 10th pair. Uh, and next up we have... Um, we have the uh, Forest Club, that's in Alpha 4 and Delta 5, so 11th pair. And lastly, we have the Cyan Diamond, which is in um, Bravo 4 and Delta 4, so that's our last pair. Leaving us with White Heart, and as you can see, there is no matching pair on the board um, with a white heart. So that is our Joker card right there. So now that we've figured out all of our pairs, what we must do is we press the Start button to flip over all of the cards. 
And as you can see, this little number eight, let us know how many shuffles we are working with. And what the shuffles can consist of is swapping two rows or columns with cards, shifting a row or column one space. So, so we, what we can do is, for example, we can shift the fifth row up to the first row and vice versa. That's an example. Um, I'm going to control Z that though, of course. Um, so that can be either a row or a column sim uh, similar to that. Uh, shifting a row or column one space, this can be, for example, moving the 10 over all the way to the left, like so. Uh, rotating four cards around the center in a playing field. So for example, we could be doing, um, we could do uh, Charlie one, Echo three, uh, Delta, excuse me, Charlie five and Alpha three. Those could rotate around the center, either either clockwise or counterclockwise, or simply swapping two cards. As an example, being um, Echo one and Bravo three. Those could simply swap together. So once there are no shuffles remaining, the cards can now be selected. So let's actually get let's get let's get through these shuffles. So next, so now what we just saw here was we saw columns one and three swap. So let's do that. So, um, so unfortunately, I don't have the ability to do like rejects or however Tim we does it. So I'm just simply going to be swapping the numbers here. And this is kind of also why I chose this method. It's because it's a lot easier to keep track of. So this will become three. This will become one. This will become five. This will become seven. Uh, this will become ten. This will become nine. Uh, this will be our Joker. Um, and this will become eleven. Uh, this will become 2, and this will become 8. And just like that, that's our first shuffle done. Uh, next up, uh, columns 4 and 5 have swapped. So this will become 1, this will become 4, this will become 8, this will become 4, 6, 7, uh, 12, 0, 9, and uh, 10, and 11. All right, next shuffle. And just like that, we've seen um, uh, Echo 4 go all the way to the left and everything move to the right. So let's move it to 12 all the way down to the end and put everything one space to the right. Next up, uh, the fourth and fifth row have swapped. So this, could, this is going to go up here and the 12 will go down to the bottom row. Next, we have... Um, Bravo 4 and Charlie 3 swapping. So this will become 9 and this will become 5. Here, I'm going to zoom in on the board as well now. Um, next up we have uh, 11. The 11 up here moving to the top on the 4th column. So the 11 will move to the top and everything will shift down one row. So this will become 11, this will become 1, this will become 4, this will become 0, 6, and this will become 10. Just like that, moving on to the next shuffle. And just like that, they've rotated around the center. So it was a um, Delta 3, Charlie 2, Bravo 3, and a Charlie 4 rotating counterclockwise. So this will become 4, this will become 5. Just make sure what that last one was. This will become 5, this will become 3, and this will become an 8. And for our last rotation, and just like that, Bravo 1, uh, Echo 2, Delta 4, and Alpha 4, or Delta uh, Delta 5 and Alpha 4 rotated counterclockwise. So this will become 8, this will become 2, this will become um, 2, and this will stay, and this will become 10. So we've rotated counterclockwise, uh, Bravo 1, um, uh, Alpha 4, uh, Delta 5 and Echo 2. And now, once there are no shuffles remaining, and it says go on this little display, uh, the cards can now be selected and flipping them back over. When two cards are selected, the module will check for a match. If two selected matches, um, if, if two selected cards match, they will remain face up. Otherwise, a strike will be incurred and the selected pairs will be flipped face down. So let's just start going through the pairs. So the first one I have here is zero three and the alpha one, and the third pair is also in a uh, Charlie four, like so. Next up, pair eight. That'll be um, 
Uh, alpha, uh, Bravo 1 and a Delta 3. Uh, next up, the first pair will be uh, Charlie 1 and uh, Delta 2. Uh, 11 will be uh, Delta 1 and Echo 4. The fourth pair will be Echo 1 and Charlie 2. Seventh pair will be um, Alpha 2 and Echo 3. The sixth pair will be um, Bravo 2 and Delta 4. The tenth pair will be um, Echo 2 and Alpha 3. The fifth pair will be right next to each other, um, Bravo 3, Charlie 3. Uh, second pair is going to be uh, an Alpha 4 and a Delta 5. Uh, ninth pair, uh, Bravo 4 and Echo 5. And lastly, the Joker card is going to be right there. So therefore, the 12th pair being um, Alpha 5 and uh, Charlie 5. And just like that is a solved module. You cannot flip over the Joker card. Do not do that. And just like that is a solved module. Let's take a look at another example. This module itself is pretty straightforward. And it's just don't let the rotations mix you up. Those are the hardest thing about this module is just making sure that these rotations do not mix you up. I'm going to go a little bit faster because this module is pretty self-explanatory. And yeah, exactly. I'm hoping to get some more complicated rotations. Um, but yeah, so we have first uh, so we have two cyan hearts. Um, we have two blue spades, excuse me, uh, zero two. Um, uh, we have two white spades, so that'll be three. Uh, we have two orange spades, fourth pair. Uh, we have, we have two cyan diamonds. Uh, we have two red clubs. Uh, we got the two blue spades. Uh, two red spades. That all makes sense. Um, two lime diamonds. Uh, two yellow diamonds. Uh, we do not have a forest uh, club, so that is our... Um, that is our Joker card right there. We have two blue clubs. Uh, we have two pink spades and we have two pink clubs. So that's perfect. Uh, and then our last pair, two pink clubs. Perfect. Okay, let's flip over the cards and let's get the shuffles going. All right, so the first and second column have swapped. So let's do that. Two, one, Six and two, uh, nine and eight, ten, eleven, uh, zero, three, and a twelve. Next rotation or next uh, shuffle will be the same thing going counterclockwise. Uh, Charlie two, uh, Bravo three, Charlie four, Delta three. So let's shuffle those around. Let's do this. So we have seven, eight, zero, one. X, X. Next up, the uh, third row uh, shifted one down, so zero five will be at the top. So that'll be zero five, then zero three, then X, X, seven, and eight. Next rotation. The corners have swapped counterclockwise, so echo one. Alpha 1, Alpha 5, Echo 5. They, rot they rotated counterclockwise. So this will be 6. Um, this will be 5. This will be 2. And this will be 3. Next rotation. Um, this one shifted uh, top up. Top, it's shifting up. So the top shifted, the top one went to the bottom. So this will be 5. This will be 8. This will be, uh, what was that last one? 7? Yes, yeah, so 8. This will be zero seven. This will be XX, and this will be three. Next up, the second and the first row have swapped. Did not mean to do that. Enter. Okay, done. Next. 
Uh, that would be a Bravo 4 and Delta 2 swap their positions. So that'll be swapping 0, 4, and the 10th pair. And lastly, another simple swap. Uh, Alpha 4 and Bravo 3. So uh, the 7 and the 11 will be swapping right here. All right, and they'll start just matching pairs. Um, second pair is here and here. Six is here and here. Um, eight will be here and here, avoiding the Joker card. Um, here and here. Here and here. And the nice thing is that you can do this in any order you want to, so that's perfect. Um, Twelfth pair. And I guess just to show you an example of how the strike works. So let's take, for example, we mix, um, we happen to mess up somewhere along the lines. Um, 0, 5, and 11. Let's say we just flip those two pairs over. As you clearly see, those are not the same pairs. Gives you a strike, and they flip them back over. So let's continue on. But it, the nice thing is, is that it does not reset the module. So let that be noted. Let's continue flipping over the rest of the pairs. And last pair. And just like that, this is all module. Let's take a look at one final example. As you can see, we definitely did get some different rotations there, so that's very nice. Um, let's continue on. So we have the first pair right here. The module itself is not hard. The cruel variant is very, very difficult. I'm just gonna state I'm just gonna state that. And it's actually not really that difficult. It's just a little it's just longer. Um, so but there is a very apparent difference when it comes to how the module designs look. Um, Three. I did that out of order, but whatever. Um, blue speed. Um, let's go for a lime uh, for violet heart. And the zero six. Zero six. Um, Lime heart, zero seven, zero seven, zero eight, zero eight, um, uh, zero nine, and zero nine, um, ten, ten, um, eleven, eleven. And lastly, our last pair will be the pink hearts, so 12 and 12. And just to confirm, there is no other blue diamonds on the board, so this is indeed our Joker card. Let's begin. The second and the fourth row have swapped. Next up, um, the second row shifted left. So the so alpha two went over to echo two. So this will become eleven. Next up, um, fifth column shifted down. So echo five went up to there, and then everything shifted down. So this will become zero six eleven seven eight. Okay. Next up, um, okay, we have the same rotation. We have Bravo 1, Alpha 4, Delta 5, Echo 2, counterclockwise. So this will be um, 6, this will be 3, this will be 8. And just to confirm that that was a 4, yep. And this will be 4. So this is the reason why I just annotate this with, with numbers. It's just easier to keep track of and a lot easier to just type it this way as too as well. Um, the second and fifth column swapped. So 0, 6 and 0, 6 stay the same. Uh, 4 becomes uh, 1. Um, 10 and 11. Uh, 7 and 2. Uh, 10 and 0, 8. Last three pairs. Uh, First and fifth, uh, first and uh, third column swap. I mean row, excuse me. 
uh, second and first uh, row swap. And lastly, uh, the this column shifts up again. So this will be a um, this will be uh, eight seven zero four twelve and zero nine. Alrighty, let's begin the swaps. So here and here, uh, uh, zero four, zero four, so one and one, um, nine and nine, um, ten and ten, uh, two and two, seven, six, eleven, three. Uh, eight and five. And just like that, my friends, is a solved module. As always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to stay crazy, stay cool, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.